This is MikeBot. Going to be doing a quick through on Creality Cloud and Creality Slicer. So I've logged into Creality Cloud here and I'm going to go ahead and search a model that's going to be uh, nice and simple to print. So I'm looking here at a low poly Pikachu. I'm going to grab the model, download it, and I'm going to import it into Creality Slicer. So I'm just importing it here. And I also just noticed there's a package that needs updating, so I'm going to go ahead and update that quickly. But as you can see in the background there, the low poly Pikachu model has been imported into Creality Slicer from the Creality Cloud. So I'm just going to get this update out of the way here quickly. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize the build plate the best I can, and it's going to be limited by the height for this. So I'm going to scale this as tall as possible because I want this to look really good. And there will be a time lapse right at the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and increase the wall loops here to 6 because I want this to be very durable. I'm probably going to do 5-6% infill. Uh, might go with grid. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to be using the Creality PLA. So I'm going to be showcasing the yellow Creality PLA for this video as well. It's my first time ever using Creality brand PLA. So I'm going to go ahead and slice it here. I'll just give it a few seconds to slice accordingly. And I forgot to generate supports, but essentially it's 177 grams without supports and about seven hours. I'm going to go ahead and probably do probably three supports here. Um, might do skirt loops just in case of breezes. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to, yeah. So I'll do two skirt loops. I'm going to throw in tree supports here, automatic, do a simple 15% angle, and I'm going to go ahead and re-slice it here. Now, uh, as you saw there in Bamboo Studio, I already sliced a few of the other Pokemon. I'm just doing a comparison. I'm not going to be showing the comparison in this video because this is a Creality specific video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to find the right size for this build plate. So let me just uh, go through this really quickly here. I'm just gonna speed this part up. All right, so I'm thinking probably around 240. Now I believe it's supposed to be able to do 300, um, but I have a feeling this is gonna take a lot of material and time. So I'm gonna probably aim for 240. And I'm gonna increase the angle threshold just a little bit to be on the safe side, because I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out with Creality PLA. So I'm just going to wait here for the slicing to complete, and we'll see what the damage is. Okay, it's not too bad. About 300 grams, we'll call it, and 13 hours. So I think I'm good with this. I'm just doing a quick little inspection here to make sure there's no holes or any of the uh, tree supports merged. Um, I think I might try to increase it actually a little bit more here. So, I'm just going to play around with the height for a minute here. And then I'm slicing again. And I will skip through this so you don't have to wait for it to generate the slicing. Alright, so 360 grams, a little under 16 hours, not too bad. I think I'm satisfied with this. Just going to do a quick little inspection again, make sure there's no holes or any supports that fused into the model. Everything looks good, clean, travel looks good, supports look good. Yep, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send this over to my printer. So I'm going to run a print calibration as well, and then I'm going to hit the one click print, and away she goes. Alright, now I'm going to go into the device here and just show everyone what's going on. So the file's being sent, 99% sent. And I'm just gonna go. Now I'm gonna just go back here really quick. I wanna look through the settings of the CRPLA because I'm very curious on what the defaults are. So I'm just skimming through here really quick. Um, I will do an in-depth tutorial on this afterwards if you want. Just let me know in the comments section and I will do a video for you. So it looks pretty standard. Nothing crazy. The flow rate's 0 0.95. I'm just going to change the price here on what I pay. So it'll kind of just give me an idea of what each print will cost. 
And yes, it is a little expensive. And I will skip through this generating part again here quickly. So back to my device. I'm going to just uh, try to get into the camera here and see what's going on. Uh, so there it is. Uh, that's glue on my build plate in case you're wondering. I love these analytics on this thing. It's pretty awesome. So the print's done now. I'm just on the Creality Cloud app on my phone. And I'm just going to download the time lapse for everyone to view. But uh, the print was done, took about 16 hours, and it looks incredible. So here's the time lapse. And like I said, this was a quick through. I got one more quick little video to show you all, so stay tuned. Um, so check out this time lapse, and I will show you the next quick through on the slicer. So this time I'm going to show you how to do it through the Creality Cloud app. So I'm using an Android phone here. So I'm going to search for something to print, something for my K1 Max. Um, I'm thinking maybe the lid holder. I saw a lid holder which bends because I noticed the heat gets pretty intense inside the uh, K1 Max when it's printing. And I want to kind of print a holder that's going to pop the lid open and uh, basically not let the PLA overheat and warp while it's printing. So I'm just going to search through this really quick. I'm going to speed this part up and then I will walk you through the slicer settings that are built into Creality Cloud. So I found the model that I want. I'm going to go with the lid holder for Creality K1 Max, and that's simply what it's called. And here's what the image looks like from the person that created the model and uploaded the photo, essentially. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and slice it directly in Creality Cloud. Now, it's my first time slicing in Creality Cloud, so it's got all these do this, do that, pointing to that, but... Uh, Anyway, so I'm going to select my printer here. So it's going to be the K1 Max. It's going to be under their flagship. I'm just going to look around here, see. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and adjust my profile. So I'm using the Creality uh, PLA. So that's what I'm going to be basing these settings off of. I'm going to do an infill of gyroid, probably 10%, I'm thinking, for this. No, 25% because it's going to be structural. So 25% sounds right. I'm going to do a skirt just because for fun. I don't usually do skirts or brims, they're not needed, but why not? So wall thickness, um, notice it at 0 0.87. Um, let me think, I think I'm going to increase it to probably six walls. I think it's 0 0.43 is one wall, so I think it's set to two walls right now. Uh, maybe three walls actually. So let me boost it up to about six or seven walls because I want this thing to last. I'm just going to do a quick calculation here. Let me go 3.48. I think that's about six walls, maybe eight walls. I'm going to also increase the bottom and top thickness to about four walls, give or take, leaving the speed at 300. Uh, temperatures, I'm going to leave them at default. 230 degrees for Creality PLA. That's interesting. Um, bed adhesion is going to stay default. Controls, probably going to leave it at default. That's basically it. So now my profile is created. I'm going to keep it under the balanced. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to slice it. I'm just looking through the settings here quickly. So here's what I've configured for my profile. Feel free to copy that if you like. You don't have to, obviously. And just get to remember to save it. I'm going to just call it K1 Max PLA. And I think I'm ready to slice here. Uh, everything looks in check. So I'm going to go ahead and cloud slice it. Now, I don't have Creality Cloud Premium. Um, if you want faster slices, faster downloading, I highly recommend it. I'll leave links below. 
Uh, it's out of my budget, and unfortunately, I, I'm poor. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, so I, I can't afford the premium right now, but maybe one day. So the slicing is done. It was a really small file. I'm gonna go ahead and send it directly to my K1 Max. Confirm. I'm gonna enable print calibration. Um, you can enable AI and print calibration directly on the printer as well. Uh, there's another video out on that, so make sure to check it out. I will link my uh, playlist to this video as well. And the print is off. So I'm going to let it do its thing here and then uh, stay tuned for the time lapse. Alright, so the print is done. This is the time lapse I'm looking at here. I'm just going to save it to the album. I was going to include the time lapse in this, but you're basically seeing it. There's not much to it. There's the print duration, 46 minutes. Everything's good. I got my Kuva coins for it, so keep saving those Kuva coins up for free filament. And that's basically it. Simple as that. You can add make, throw in some photos of what you made, and put a comment in. It makes the... Uh, the designer happy essentially because as a designer myself i like seeing comments and people posting their makes so i'm just gonna fast forward through actually i'm not gonna fast forward through this because uh, i'm basically done the video so that's basically it um so i did my profiles i did uh everything through the creality cloud app it's basically like using the creality slicer but on your phone it's incredible so i've done a quick through through both creality Creality Slicer and Creality Cloud Slicer. And uh, simple as that. So stay tuned for more advanced videos, technical videos coming down the road. For now, that's it. Thank you all for watching today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave your comments below. Let me know what you've printed, what you liked about them, what you didn't. Follow me on Creality Cloud. I will follow you back. Uh, make sure to hit the like button. Thanks, Thanks again, again for watching. watching. My bot out.